Okay, now we're going to add text to our tag. To do so, what we're going to do is we're going to come over on the toolbar on the left side, and we're going to choose the text tool right here. And it's going to ask us to enter in our text. Now here you can do your name, you can do a school name, um, but what I'm going to do is actually make it kind of larger so that I can show you what to do in case you happen to have a really long name. So I'm going to put Duke and McGuire. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set our height at 16, oops, 16 millimeters. And we're going to set our extrusion at 2 millimeters. So I have the name typed in. I have a height and I have an extrusion. Now I'm going to click OK and that will create the text. Now when I bring the text over, I put it on the face. If I go down here, it'll kind of move around. So it's really important to set it on that face of that plate. So I'm going to just click right. I'm going to get it lined up. If you look at the middle of the K there, I'm getting that along that guideline. And I'm getting just the left edge exactly where I want it near the hole. I'm going to click there, and it's going to set the text. Now, once I have set the text, I need to now size it so that it fits in the space. To resize text, what you do is you simply come over here to this scale tool. If you come to the scale tool, it puts these green blocks all around the text. And what I'm going to do is I need to choose this block right here. And in order to do that and move it, I'm going to click that middle box and I'm going to drag it over. Now I might need to zoom out. I might need to move it over a little bit more. But I'm going to grab that middle box and slide it over. And again, I'm holding down the shift key and the scroll mouse that lets me shift around. And then I'm going to grab that middle box one more time. Don't grab the top one. Don't grab the bottom one. you got to make sure it's that middle box right there and bring that inside our border. Now you can see it says the name right there. And if I hold down my shift key and my scroll, that lets me position everything. And we now have our text inside there. If you accidentally grab one of the other ones and it changes size and you don't want it, just hit the undo key. If you're trying to move this and you grab the wrong one and it does something like that, just hit the undo key and bring it back because that middle box is really important for resizing. So now we have set our text uh, and we'll go on to the next step. I'm going to hit save and I'll see you in the next video.